Once upon a time, back in Hollywood, there was a power couple. We'll call them the original power couple. Nancy Reagan and Ronald Reagan. These two got together, but it was after their first marriages. Nancy comes from a wealthy family. Legend has it she was never nice to her servants. She was never nice to the drivers. She wasn't nice to any help. She was a crotchety young lady. And as she grew older, she became a crotchety old lady. She had been pursuing Ronald for years. Ronald didn't want much to do with her. You know, she was attractive. She came for money. She had prestige. She was a power player in the Hollywood Hills. But Ronald did not like the way she treated other people. He did not like the way she treated him. She was bossy. She tried to tell him what to do. And Ronald, as a man with a 14-inch penis, didn't like that. But on that first date, there was a revelation that happened. He understood why everyone was tolerating a Nancy Reagan. Well, for one, she treated him to dinner. Ronald is known for being cheap. He never liked to pick up the tab. He was known for skipping out on bills. He was known for offering to pick up the check and then going to the bathroom. I think we all know that person. I think we all know that trick. But when Ronald and Nancy made love for the first time, it all became clear. Now, some of you may know, Nancy is well known for a certain gift, a certain talent that not everyone has or possesses. The modern name, the modern label that she was known for is Throat Goat. Nancy was known far and wide and deep for her fellatio abilities. The moment Ronald spent the night with her was the moment that he realized he needed to lock this down. So why is this important? When Nancy was in college, she had her pick of the litter. Everyone knew she was rich and she was quite attractive. She would cake on a fair amount of makeup, go out, and hit the scene. During these parties, she would grab a guy, drag him into the bathroom, perform fellatio. Guys wanted to finish on her, finish on her face. And she had about enough of that. So one night, Nancy and her girlfriends, they're having a little slumber party. And they're all talking about how they really don't like getting blasted in the face during a party. They have to rinse their face. They have to redo their makeup. You know, it's a big mess. And it takes a fair amount of time for them to just make themselves presentable again so they can go out and find another guy to blow. And Nancy turned to her girlfriends and told them, just say no. And at that moment, a light bulb went off and Nancy realized she was sitting on a gold mine. She was sitting on a phrase that she was gonna carry with her for the rest of her days. So let's fast forward about 75 years after Nancy was in college, and now her husband is the president of the United States. There's a supposed war on drugs. Nancy says, this is my time. What do you do if someone offers you drugs? You just say no. Now her friends were giggling about this because they all knew it was about getting blasted in the face. But when you think about the amount of lives that were saved, by using that phrase, just say no, it's probably in the 10s and 20s. 